Okay, let's go ahead. I am uh, very pleased to introduce our next speaker. Our speaker is Siem Soon. I'll have him come up. I first met Soon probably four years ago at the, uh, the ECHO Asia Conference here in Chiang Mai and got talking to Soon. And Soon is from the border area of Cambodia with Thailand, but now he's working up in the northeast with International Cooperation Cambodia. And Soon is the manager of the Improving Indigenous Livelihoods Program of ICC. And they're doing some phenomenal work with uh, ethnic minority groups on the border in the Ratanakiri and Mandalkiri provinces. I had the privilege of going and visiting Soon and the team there last December. And we actually um, got some funding to do a, a seed saving, a seed systems project with them. And so we've been working quite closely with that. Um, documenting indigenous seed systems and what those look like in those provinces among minority groups and just finding a lot of really neat varieties of farmer safe seeds and looking at ways to improve those those systems uh, so that they don't lose that biodiversity that cultural heritage of their seeds and so um, we've been working together and it's been a real pleasure and um, this morning soon's going to talk about community solutions to the changing context of livelihoods in northeastern Cambodia of indigenous minorities. So go ahead and let's welcome soon. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. And thanks the Lord very much that he gives me the privilege to share with you our real experience working with uh, indigenous people in Mandolkiri and Ratanakiri provinces, northeast Cambodia. So today, I want to share my experience of uh, working with community about community solution to the changing context of livelihoods in northeastern Cambodia of indigenous minorities. So, you know ICC, right? How many? Okay, how many of you know ICC? ICC is International Cooperation Cambodia. It's not the the, the court, international court. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And you can see this is the con the contents, general view of Madurai and Ratanakiri provinces, and what ICC in the both provinces, what happening to the both provinces and how ICC has been helping. And the last one, what community are doing to the changing context of livelihood. <coughs> okay, I start to number one. This is the, the, the real view, the background of Mandalkiri and Rotanakiri provinces in northeastern Cambodia. And Mandalgiri is the largest province in Cambodia. And it's, it is uh, 390 kilometers from Phnom Penh city with small population, <coughs> big area but small population, only 6,000 people only. Yeah, yeah and uh, we have five districts, 21, uh, 21 communes and 98 villages. 90% of the people is Penong, indigenous Penong, minority Penong. And they can speak both Penong and Khmer languages. And then you can see the population live of the land, planting upland rice and paddy rice, cassava, cashew, fishing, honey making, and other non-timber forest product. And non-timber forest product is very important to the, the life of community people. Because, you know, they are living depending on the natural resources, forests, and if no forest, no life for them also. But nowadays, because of the, the forest degradation, and people start to be more difficult because of they, 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 they have to, 
to change to the the the, the changing context. They have to ad adapt to the changing context. And some some of them conduct small business in the village, like handicraft and animal racing also. And some people work for other people or company for little money to support their families. <coughs> And for Ratanagari, it's very far from Phnom Penh, very far, 560 kilometers from Phnom Penh, and we, we can, uh, the population is, yeah, 184,000. 70% of ethnic minority, Tumpun, Chirai, Krang, Pro, Kachok, Kavet, and also Laos and Vietnamese and Chinese people also and Khmer also. And people, uh, they, they are making a living like uh, Madokri people also. They, they, they are planting upland rice and paddy rice, fruit tree and the varieties of vegetable in many families. Uh, beginning to shift production, like cash crop, rubber tree, cassava, cashew nuts tree, and black pepper. And now people start to to plant new, very new, is a uh, uh, Inca peanut, Inchi, right? The first start to uh, Madolkiri and Rotanakiri provinces. <coughs> and, you know, some people still hunting, fishing, working for other people and company, and people also do some small business like handicraft, home garden, and animal racing like the Madolkiri people do. And this is uh, Madolkiri, you see, the picture of uh, the, the map of Cambodia, and this is the Madurakiri province and Ratanakiri province, close to each other, the border. So Madurakiri and Ratanakiri. And you can see this picture, it's very meaningful. People, they have something, you know, they, 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 they grow vegetables and everything from the garden, from the forest, they collected everything from the forest and and sell uh, to other people at the market and they back home with something. Even you can see Karapau also. <laughs> so, you know, I want to say that agriculture, uh, vegetable growing, non-timber forest product collecting is very important for indigenous people to live. And they eat change from the market, something like this, some seasoning or groceries. And you can see, I know that some of you know this Mandolkiri people. Mandolkiri is a very beautiful place, mountainous size, like very up, upland like this, and then very beautiful. Now it's very green, everywhere is very green. And you can see also the people live in the, in the area like this, in the jungle. Very green, you see. When we see this, we, we, we feel that all people can, can, can raise cattle or animals. <laughs> big area and big grass, everywhere with grass. And also this is upland rice. People, they have their, their, their houses in the village and also small cottage, small house also in, in the field, in, in the uh, slash and burn field, in the hill, and then people grow upland rice and they live happily. Paddy rice also in Mandolkiri, and you see surrounded by the jungle with good soil, very good soil. And people, you know, like to, 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 to do like this very much. And you can see many people work together. Because, for example, if today you will grow rice and you will invite other people to join, free, you know, without pay. And people have each other like this. This is the, this is the habit to have each other. Today, it's your work, and tomorrow, your turn, other, other people's turn, so they have each other. <coughs> and we can see also, this is the rice. 
and this is their their their, their belief traditional belief that they they have to to do some ceremony so that their rice will grow very well <laughs> and also this is that uh, Abraham and me you know we 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 visited one villages and people very hard with upland rice the yield was not so good because of the climate change and, and the rice didn't grow very well and the yield produced very little and and people and organization staff working together to discuss how to improve in fact you know i see want to uh, go back a little bit i see has been working in cambodia a long time and in modokri we start in 2000 2003 with literacy project most of our work is related to uh, literacy work but in 2013 we have a project called IBCDE project indigenous uh, IBCDE is a uh, indigenous oh no identity based community development and education and then we start to work with people about livelihood so this is the, the, the first time for ICC to work on livelihood and then we start to understand more and more with people when everybody asks what is ICC doing? Livelihood, improvement livelihood. What is the real job? It's difficult to, 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 to answer because what is the real activity to improve livelihood? Maybe some people will say that you have to plant cassava, you have to plant rubber tree, you have to plant black paper, or you have to do something like that. But many times that we know that when people plant rubber tree, they clear all the forest. They clear all the natural resource. So this is not a sustainable development. This is not a real improve, uh, li livelihood improvement. You can do this only today, but in the next 20 years, people will suffer a lot. So we try to discuss with people, what is the real community development and what is the real uh, livelihood improvement so this is the first step for us you know we will learn more and more with community people about how to improve so we are working with them and thank you I uh, echo also that echo you know the best partner with us now I can go uh, echo help us to launch the first project is seed saving I will show you the next slide <coughs> And this is the upland rice also at Rotanakiri province, you can see. Why the, the woman didn't use the sickle or something to, 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 to do with the rice. But they use bar hand like this. Because this is their, their, their belief, their tradition. They think that if they use some kind of sickle, the spirit will get angry and will, will cause the, 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 the crop or the yield very low, you know. And it depends on the, the rice variety as well. Some rice variety, no, okay, you can use the sickle, but some varieties you cannot use with the sickle. You have to use with your hand. And for this kind of rice, you have to use with the, your hand because it's very easy. When you use the seed call, the crane will drop. You see. <laughs> and you know, we, we are working with community people also about the handicraft and people are enjoying very much. And also at our ICC office, we have some handicraft products from the villages. To, 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 to have people to sell their products also. <clears throat> this is what ICC in both provinces, ICC has been working with in Rotanakiri in the late 1996 and in Morokiri in 2003 on literacy, I said also. 
In 2013, that we have the project called IBCE, IBCDE, and we have 34 staff in Mondokiri, and also in Rotanakiri, 34 also in Rotanakiri. So big, big team, you know, because why we need the big team? When you you see the 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 the, the structure, you will know. And this is our vision, IBCDE's vision. Our development goal is to see indigenous minority community in the northeastern region of Cambodia have the dignity and a mindset of possibility to help themselves adapt to the changing context and advocating for their rights and participating as valued and active member of Cambodian society. So you can see that they have the dignity and mindset of possibility to help themselves, to help themselves, not from NGO, not from other agency, but from their own mindset to help themselves. So that we equip people, we encourage people to sing by themselves and to solve the problem by themselves. This is uh, we, we, what we say that the, the real development is from their own community people. This is, uh, you see, the, the structure of our ICC. We have one now program manager, and then we have the dialogue team, the round, the, 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 like this. The dialogue team play very important roles to go to the village, with every village, to discuss to listen to villagers, community people, about every concern, about everything. And then, you know, the dialogue team, they are from communities. They are indigenous people also. So when they go to the village, they can talk to the villager in the local languages. Most of the time, they, they listen, most of the time, and speak very little, because they want to get the information, so they, 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 they have the big ear, <laughs> you know, to, 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 to listen a lot. Listen, 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 and then, when they receive every information, they go to the, the technical team. We have three technical teams, education team, community well-being team and livelihood team. If community people have the problem with education, literacy class, education team will go to the village to help with education, with literacy classes. If the people have the problem with uh, health problem, or the, the, the role of the man, in their family, or the disconnection, the culture, the disconnection between the youth and old people, the unity, or domestic violence, or something like that, go to community well-being. They will go to the village to discuss with people. And for my team, you know, improve indigenous livelihood, we have only three people in Mandokiri, and three people also at Rotanakiri. I saw only one structure in Mandokiri. So, you know, uh, most of my uh, livelihood team work is to discuss with people about agriculture, reflect with people about uh, their, their vegetable growing, seed saving, and something like that, you know, uh, environment, climate change, yeah. <coughs> and we have we have appropriate media services also. This team, they produce the book, they produce CD, songs in Penong, you know, they have the record room so that people can sing in their own language as the, the, the message. Because now we, we, we know that people like to listen more than reading. So that you know, when, when they produce as a song, and then people can listen. So it's it's a good way that people can can 
can understand more than reading, you know. Yeah, this is our structure. And what happening to the both provinces, this is when we discuss with community people and also in our, our teams. We know that now the low agricultural products due to the climate change and not enough rainwater, this is the problem also in uh, both provinces. The degradation of forests due to most of forest lands are given to companies in the image of economic land concessions and illegal logging, resulting the decline of non-timber forest products. The decrease of wild animals and fish. People loan a lot of money from, from microfinance agencies and at the end sell the lands and property and something to, to pay the debt. So you see that nowadays it's not so good for uh, community people, uh, indigenous minority, uh, minority people, because you know they are living depend depending on the forest uh, natural resource. But at the end, our government gave the land, gave the forest to rich people, to company, because in the concept they think that they will make a lot of money from forest by giving to the companies. But recently, we know that little money go to the government and little money go to community, where the big money goes. Corruption or everything, I don't know well, but this is, I know that you understand more than me sometimes. <laughs> so when uh, our government do like this, it harms a lot to community people. And when they, their, their, the yield or their agricultural products very low, some of them, you know, very hard to send the children to school, and some of them, you know, sell everything, sell everything. And nowadays, a lot of microfinance go to the community to, to to encourage people to, to borrow money from their agencies. Oh, you borrow this, borrow that. And people, you know, they don't understand well and they borrow a lot of money. And at the end, they don't have the job and at the end, they cannot pay back and they sell everything, the land and property and something, even moto. So this is a big problem also in, in, in our community, you know. And people quit their own cultural seeds to plant cast crops so that many kinds extinct. This is a big concern now. When we did the baseline survey 10 years ago, you know, some villages, they say that, oh, at before they, they, they had more than 20 rice varieties, upland rice, but now they have only four, three to four. So many lost, lost already. And not only rice, every kinds of uh, crops. Community depend on only on their country mark, other country markets that the price can be low because no good market in Cambodia. So when people get the result from their rubber, cassava, black paper or something, they depend on the, 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 the people from other country to buy, other market, uh, yeah, from other country to buy. But sometimes they say that, oh, now we don't need your product, we don't need your, your, your agriculture product anymore. So people, you know. And some people now in Rotanakiri, they cut, cut down their rubber plantation already. Because before the company said that one kilo of resin from the rubber, is one dollars, but now only one thousand five hundred. It it less than half a dollar, so people have to cut. But some, you know, some people, and they use, quit the school to find timbers for company and using, drug. This is a very big concern now because, they use. 
when they see a big money from company, if you go to the forest to, to cut the timber and sell to the company, you get the money. But when they use go to the forest, they have to use the truck to be strong enough to, to carry the, the timber, heavy timber. And they quit their school, and they don't know how to, to work in their own community, and the disconnection between the youth and the old people. The unity, no more unity in their community. You see, this is the problem. And animals die a lot every year. We are working a lot with uh, village vets, veterinarians, but we fail to the, 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 the deaths of uh, animals. And we are trying to discuss more and more how to, how to use, how to help community people. And when we talk to our government, Department of Agriculture or Animal, they don't care. They just give the number to us. And if you have a problem, contact us. When we contact, no contact cannot contact. So it's a big problem also. The misuse of chemical pesticide and insecticide and herbicide. And now people, they use it a lot. And then some people, they don't understand and they use the container to, to, to store the water to drink also in Rotanakiri. So we have to make the video and to, to show to people at the village also. Yeah. And break unity in community. And how ICC has been helping support literacy classes at the villages for community to learn their own language, Penong uh, language, Tumpun, Jarai, Krung, and Bro. And working with community people to establish village and provincial level committees support action reflection and communities and also facilitate um, the workshop on literacy class uh, literacy teachers they use art traditional games folk tale culture wet agriculture seed saving with echo also and environment and climate change and health you know uh, now they have their provincial committee and provincial committee play very important role to solve to, uh, uh, to solve every problem in in the province. They they are the one to advocate to the government. They are the one to establish or to initiate new idea to to improve their communities. Working with people about traditional music instruments, dance, compose songs and record them. You know, because uh, the song is a very good way to uh, us the message to people, to bridge the communities to NGOs and government agencies, working with people about handicrafts, handicrafts and market, working with village vets, prepared plant nurseries and planted trees also. And at Rotanakri staff, has been working with communities about SRI and some people are interested in it and start to use this method. SRI for ICC is the first start in Rotanakiri and Madolkiri, not yet. Because when we discuss with Madolkiri community, people say that, oh, they don't have the culture to, to do something very slow because SRI, you have to to prepare the bed very well and you have to pull one by one and you have to do something slowly but people you know according to their culture they don't they never do like this they use something very quick and very strong you know <laughs> so this is we we try to explain them and we try to discuss with them and one day we hope that they will apply SRI in uh, in Madokiri. This picture, you know, uh, when our team and uh, with Ego, with uh, Taylor and Vinnie, we go to the village and to discuss with people about uh, seed saving, uh, what kind of plants they eat and what kind of plants they don't eat. And people enjoying very much, you know, even children 
most of them, my children, they, they, they like to see the picture. And also, according to the seed saving with Echo, with uh, Ntok Nti, uh, with Ken Thompson, we build the earth bag house to, 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 to store, to keep the seeds. And now we start using it. Inside, can put everything, the seeds and everything inside. Because now he's at uh, Australia, so he put everything first. And this is uh, our, our team, our staff. He working with people to, to start SII, the first time in Ratanakiri, one village. And it grows very well, the rice, you know, grows very well. And people are very happy, very happy. He's counting the, the, the rice, how many? Normally, you know, if people grow rice according to their, their habit, their tradition. When we count only 13, 14 or 13, but according to the SII, when we count 20 to 25. And he choose the bad paddy, the bad soil. That people think that this is the bad soil that we cannot grow anymore, but when he, he tested with people and grow very well, you see. And also when we go to see, we have the guard also. <laughs> this is village, uh, village guard, village security. This village, very good village, you know, every day they have the security. So every people go to their village, the village security will, will explain them. Because normally, you know, bad people and crime people also go into the village and make the violence or something like that bad to the village. So, so this is uh, the St. Paul village in Ratanakiri. And this is Toh, Pito. <laughs> we, we, uh, we went to the village with Pito to see the rice. <clears throat> yeah, what community are doing to, to the changing context of livelihood? Community people start to see the value of the value of education, and they go to literacy classes and encourage children to school. And village and provincial level committee, Penong Community Network Committee, we call the the Penong Community Network Committee. They are strong committee in Mandalgiri. They are the one to advocate with the government to solve every problem in the, 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 the province. And they play a very important role. You know, in fact, this committee is from our education committee, the first time. And day by day, the committee grow themselves to be the provincial level committee. And they, they are in charge, in charge everything in the, the province. And yeah, working very hard to protect the forest, do the demonstration against company, provincial committee prepared the events, IP day, and other advocacy activity. Normally, you know, the IP day, every year prepared by the government. But this year, the committee themselves, they prepared and they invite government official, uh, provincial governor to attend their, their, their uh, IP day. So they are very strong. They, they, they have the role to do this. And they are trying to find fund from NGO to protect the forest. Community are trying hard to register their forest to be community forest or community land titling. Some people grow cultural crops and cash crops. Some of them at Rotanakri have thrived with SII. Yeah. People are attending the workshop to build their capacities. And they have plowing machine, tractor, and help each other in turn. They have made songs in their own language to educate each other, and they prepared dance group to preserve the culture and earth income generation. And you see, this is the picture of all people. Because of they understand the value of education, and at night they go to the literacy class. They want to read 
and write in their own language and also in Khmer. And and free time, they they have some book and they try to read little by little, and now they understand and they they can read some. And we support literacy class at the villages because some villages no school, no government school, and some they have the school also. But you know, because of the government structure, they teach only Khmer in Khmer uh, in the government school. So for the the indigenous children, they very difficult to understand Khmer. So we have to help them to learn their own language first, so that as a bridge to go to the government school. And this is youth group, you know, uh, we invite them to attend the workshop about the art workshop, culture, and we record song and compose song, and everything, the, 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 the role of the youth to have their own community. And you see, this is the 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 picture of IP days that the the com committee they celebrate they they conducted the event by themselves and people attend and they enjoy together and the IP days you know is the the best event for them that people can understand share their concern their experience and to 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 advocate with the uh, government staff also and to 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 find support from the government staff and from NGO and you know because of the they don't know how to keep seat sometimes this is the way that they keep seat for the corn they 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 cut a lot of ears of corn and hang like this to keep the seeds next year they will use to, to grow again so we will discuss with them to improve their seed saving keep seeds and people plant a lot of vegetable and pumpkin also so that they can they can use they can consume throughout the year And we are working with community people. He's very good man working with us, discuss with us, and we learn from him a lot. You know, we learn a lot from their, from from his knowledge, because only their own knowledge is the best knowledge, because they know very well what kind of rice grow well in the land, what kind of tree grow well in there, what is good temperature, what. So we learn from them a lot. And he saw us there. This is, you know, upland rice also. And very good. And people and our staff very happy when he, he attended our workshop, discussed with us, and then they apply in their own community. And we learn from them. And uh, he's our IL team. He go to the village, and in one plantation, you know, he grows everything together: corn, cucumber, every. But when you see, you see not many, but in fact, you know, a lot. Pepper, bottle gourd, eggplants, and everything. Yeah, thank you very much for your attentions and God bless you. <laughs>